Okay, um, so I thought I'd just work through uh, one of the examples that we've looked at so far, um, just to make sure everybody um, is up to speed. Um, one of the examples on page 16 of the lecture notes asked you to, starting with this definition of drag coefficient, and this, if you remember, uh, originates from Prandtl's lifting line theory of, of uh, lift generation on a wing. Um, and this equation basically says that the total drag coefficient um, on a wing will be the zero drag, or the zero lift drag, CD naught, which is this thing here, um, plus the drag, uh, which is induced drag, so the drag that is there because of the fact that your wing is generating lift, and that is this term here. So you've got your zero lift drag and your induced drag. And the question then asks you to find out what the maximum lift drag ratio um, is, if this is your definition of total drag. Um, and of course what you first need to do is write down an expression for lift drag ratio. This is often the thing that we're trying to optimize when we're designing a wing. So we can write this as the ratio of your lift coefficient and drag coefficient. We've got expressions for the drag coefficient in terms of the lift coefficient above. And of course to find L upon D max what we need to do is differentiate this thing with respect to L because the question asked find the maximum lift drag ratio um, and the value of CL at which this occurs. So, so to find L upon D max, we need to do DL upon D by DCL. So this requires differentiating this equation here, differentiating uh, equation star. And of course, equation star, the right-hand side of this is a quotient, so we can just use the quotient rule for differentiating, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, what we end up with is this expression here. So all I've done here is said that this, the numerator of the equation we set to u, uh, the denominator v, and then what we've got is v du by dcl minus v um, So we have v du by dcl minus u dv by dcl all over v squared, which is what this expression is here. And of course, to find a maximum value of this, we need to set this expression equal to 0. So. So to find L upon D max, we're going to set the derivative of our expression for the lift drag ratio with respect to CL equal to zero. And when we do that, it should be clear that we can find the value of CL, which gives us d 
dl upon d by dcl equal to 0 when cd naught plus cl squared Okay, um, so we've got CD naught plus this term here is equal to two of them over here. So we can rearrange that quite easily to give us CD naught is equal to CL squared over pi E AR. Remember the E is the Oswald efficiency factor and AR is aspect ratio of the wing. So the value of CL at which you get a maximum lift drag ratio is simply so CL. This is going to be the square root of CD naught pi e AR. So this here is the value of CL at which the lift drag ratio is a maximum. And then to establish what that L upon D max actually is, of course, we just substitute that back into our expression for L upon D. So L upon D max is going to be L upon D when CL is that value there. And subbing in, we're going to get CD naught pi e which is obviously square root of CD naught pi e aspect ratio over two CD naught and then we can simplify that again to a half the square root of pi e a r over c d naught. So this is your value of L upon d max, and that occurs when c l is equal to the square root of cd naught pi e aspect ratio. Now, we then asked you to have a little think about the implications of this. Um, of course, you can easily plot a graph of um, of L upon d against CL. You could do this in MATLAB or Excel. And if you were to do that, you would get a graph that looks something like this. If you've got CL on the x-axis, L upon D on the y-axis. Remember our expression right back up at the top for L upon D was this one here. Um, in fact, I think I've missed a squared off there somewhere. In fact, I have a Mr. Squared term there and there, which need to be added in. But if we were to plot that L upon D function, we're going to get something that looks like this. So there will be a value of CL. which gives you a maximum lift drag ratio which is usually when what we're designing our wing to achieve so we're, f we're finding a, a value of CL at which you've got a maximum L upon D and this of course is the maximum L upon D so this value here is your L upon D max and then I asked you to think about what the implications of all of this are well if we just look at our expression here for 
the maximum L upon D, we can see straight away that if you increase the aspect ratio of the wing, the maximum lift drag ratio you can achieve also goes up. That's what we would expect. As E goes up, the Oswald efficiency factor, and remember this is a number between 0 and 1, which tells you to what extent your wing is oper operating like an elliptical wing with an elliptical lift distribution. When it's 1, you have an elliptical lift distribution. So the closer you can get to an, ellip an elliptical lift distribution, the, cl the, the bigger your L upon D max is going to be. And of course, the smaller your zero lift drag is, the smaller your CD naught is, the bigger your L upon D max is going to be. And if you actually plot the function for L upon D against CL, you get a graph that looks like this here. So this implies that as soon as you step away from your CL, either you make your CL smaller, and usually you would do this by reducing the angle of attack of the wing to go in this direction, or increasing the angle of attack to go in this direction, the efficiency of the wing reduces. Your lift-drag ratio of the wing reduces. So there is an optimum angle of attack for a given wing uh, uh, behavior um, that you want to operate at. So I guess those are the things you need to be thinking about in terms of uh, the implications um, of this analysis.